Yeah, hi everyone. So today actually I would like to discuss uh, something quite important for everybody who has a, an e-bike. It's about batteries and charger. So uh, so that's a strong battery, right? So the cost of this battery is almost between $1,500 and $2,000, right? And one of the issues is that, and for all e-bikes, is that when you charge the batteries to its fullest, meaning to 100%, well, it gets worn out quite quickly, right? And then you need to change the battery to replace it because it doesn't charge enough and it costs quite a lot, right? So it's a lot of the running cost of an e-bike comes in the battery. The motor, it can last for a very, very long time, but the battery don't. And one of the big, big issues indeed that chargers typically charge full blast all the time, right? So you have very basic chargers, right? Which are basically, okay, constant current and constant voltage. So for instance, this cheap charger, okay, from a bike from, on Deca from Decathlon, okay, is gonna have an output of 42 volt all the time and two amps. So that's a very, very basic stuff, right? That's for a 36 volt battery. But it's, it, it charges all the time at the same voltage. Then you have much smaller voltage, which are called constant current, constant voltage, which are two, which have two phases, right? So that's a cycle satiator. It's going to charge progressively, so always the same amp, right? Okay, you can define it. One amp, two amps, three amps, 1.2 if you want amps. And it's going to progressively charge the voltage, so progressively, right? So for instance, for a 48-volt uh, battery, it's going to start at whatever level, maybe 42, and progressively go up to whatever whatever you want it to charge. So for instance, for a 13S, right, 13 batteries in series, it's going to charge up to 52 volt, meaning 4.2 volt times, uh, no, even more actually, 4.2 volt times 13. But if you want, you can stop it at 4 volts. And at 4 volts, so this battery will be charged at 80%. So the beauty of charging only up to 80% and not discharging too much, meaning if you stay between 20% and 80%, you can run these batteries for a very, very, very long time, right? You're going to use your battery much, much less. So let's say that if you charge your battery to 100% all the time, let's say that you're going to be able to do 500 cycles with it. If you charge to 80% and down to 20% all the time, you're going to be able to do literally thousands and thousands of cycles, right? So degradation of the battery often happens most of it between 90 and 100% or 80 to 100%. That's where the degradation accelerates. And if you discharge a lot below 20, that's when you start to have more and more degradation, right? The issue with, the, with some of the batteries, so this one has this kind of plug, right? But it doesn't send a signal. It doesn't communicate with the BMS of the battery, right? And some BMS, okay, or, or relatively complicated e-bikes like the Strummer, want to have a signal from a proper charger, right, from its own charger. That's why this cycle says here, which is frankly an amazing charger, is not going to work on the Strummer or on the, maybe actually on the Bosch, I don't even know, I'm not sure, but it's not going to work on the Shimano battery at all, right? The Shimano battery is the same. The, the BMS of the Shimano battery wants to make sure that it is using a Shimano charger, right? And the Shimano charger send a signal to the battery. The battery say, hey, I'm a Shimano uh, battery, and, and you can charge, right? They, they communicate, okay? But that's a constant current, constant voltage. And once it has reached a certain uh, current, predefined, it charge at a very low amp. The Strummer uh, charger, though, is, is relatively good, right? It's the same as a cycle satiator, okay, so it's a constant current, constant voltage, meaning that it charges progressively in terms of voltage at a specific amp, right? And when once 100% has been reached, okay, the voltage remains the same and the currents fall down to almost nothing, to a trickling, right? That's what you see here, right? So if you look at the Stromer, okay, uh, output, uh, where is it? Yeah. Orange is constant current charging, so it's going to charge at 1 amp, 4.5 amp. So it's going to charge at constant current to start with, and the voltage is going to go up progressively, up to 100% charge, and once it has reached this percent, 
constant voltage. So it's going to stay at high voltage and the current is going to drop to very little amps, right? Now, the issue is that you cannot, unlike the associator, you cannot stop this charger from charging unless you plug it out, right? But you never know, I mean, you never know actually what voltage, at what level of charge it is. So what I've created, right, is called a Stromer battery optimizer. What it does is that there's basically these two wires, okay, who measure constantly the voltage that is sent to the battery. Okay, so here, you are, so it's basically welded inside. So clearly as a disclaimer, there's no impact on the battery, right? The battery is not changed, but indeed the charger, there's a modification. Basically, I've integrated, I've plugged a kind of voltmeter. So that is a voltmeter, right? And so the AC, okay, goes here, okay, goes inside. So that powers this device, okay? And I'll show you later what it is, okay? And it is this device that powers the Stromer. Once it starts charging, that device is going to measure constantly how much voltage it sends to the battery and at a predefined level, okay, inside you have a relay that's going to stop the current flowing from here to here. So the Stromer charger will be totally disconnected, will stop charging the battery, that's all. It's a switch on and off, okay. So the way I've done, okay, is that inside it's fairly simple, right? Uh, so these two wires go here, and that measures the voltage, okay? And here you can define whether you want it at 70, 80, or 90% charge, okay? And here you have the relay. So the so wire here go here, power this device, okay? Uh, I'll go after, uh, I'll explain more later, and power this relay. So when it's inactive, the, fl the current flows here, and the strummer is a better uh, charger, is powered normally and a specific voltage is going to indicate to this relay, please switch off. And so the current feeding the Stromer charger will be cut off. Okay? So let's try. Okay? If I switch it, so I've put the general switch here. I switch it on. Okay? Here you can't really see well. Okay? But here, okay, I've set up at 80%. Okay? So here, the battery charger is not connected to the battery, so it doesn't do anything, right? If I press here, I go to 70%. If I go here, I go to 90%. By default, I've set it up at 80%, right? So when it, when it switches on, by default, it's at 80%. Now it's reading actual value of voltage, zero volt, because indeed, there's the Stromer charger doesn't send any power, okay? If I connect, if I connect the battery here, okay, here, it start charging, and here you can see that it is sending 50.85 volt. I mean, technically, I've already charged to 80%, right? And so, once this level is gonna, it's gonna reach a certain level which I've specified, okay, it's gonna stop automatically. Let's say that so this one is at 70%. Is at 80%. If I move to 70%, okay, look, it's charging here. I move to 70%. Oh, it has deep defined that it is above the threshold, okay, and that has switched off, and this charger has been switched off. So if it is over 70%, because that is at 70%, that switches, switches off, okay? I mean, I've added a device a system as well which is if I don't want anything, I don't want to unplug anything, but I still want to charge at 100%, right? So I switch off to reset the system, okay? Here, I put it back, and if, it, if I don't want any optimization, so here you have a small LED that says, oh yeah, it's working, the system is working, so I'm back to 80%, by the way. And if I want to 100%, here I switch off, the LED goes off, and that means that the computation, it still measures, right? It still measures, but anyway, it's never gonna stop the charger, the charger will stop itself once it has reached 100%. So technically this device has 70, 80, 90% once activated, and if deactivated, it goes to 100%. Okay? So here, even if I do 70, okay? Here actually, well, okay, maybe <laughs> maybe the bug in the system. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's only a programming stuff, okay? Uh, but it stops, okay? 
And so technically, obviously, that modifies the charger. Okay, so you void the warranty on the charger, but technically the only thing it does, I can show you in, uh, inside, is just these two wire connected here to the plus and minus that goes to the battery and that's all, right? It's just a voltmeter and the battery, as you saw, as you see, doesn't change. So this way, I can charge my battery to 80%. When I come back home, I plug it in by default, okay? It starts, that's charged, reach 80%, switches off, and every morning I have a range of, well, between 80 and 82%, right? So most people don't need a massive range of 100%, right? And if I need 100%, I just plug it normally, okay, I switch that off, I need charges to 100% and at the full range. But in normal days, I just have actually, okay, fair enough, a smaller range, okay, but that says that multiplies my life of a battery by a factor of, I don't know, probably 10 or 15 times, okay, which for batteries that cost so much, okay, most, like most batteries, is very useful. And I do not void the warranty of the, char of the, uh, of the battery itself, Okay, because there's no modification to the battery. Worst case scenario, I void the warranty on the on the charger. Okay, which is not a very expensive piece. Well, it is relatively expensive. I think that this charger costs pro probably 200 euros, which is quite a lot for what it is. Okay, but there's no reason it will fail just because I've connected a voltmeter. And clearly, uh, the the charger doesn't notice, doesn't realize that the voltmeter. Okay, that draws almost no current is measuring all the time how much voltage it sends. So anyway, hope you find it interesting, all right? But if you want to, to know more about it, uh, please let me know and I'm happy to, to explain. I mean, uh, I've created actually a PCB, okay? So it's cleaner. You don't really need a PCB so that's, that's for it to be cleaner. I've created this little uh, 3D box and so on. You don't really need it, okay? It's just a bit cleaner, okay? Hope that makes sense. And again, if you want any help, please let me know. Take care.